What's up party people, Vernon Mashwell here and today uh, we're going to be showing you guys how to set up a WordPress professional DJ website. Uh, basically this is part two if you're seeing this video and you haven't saw part one you're going to want to head over to uh, part one of the video and before you do that you're going to want to check out the blog post at laptopjot.com so um, let's get in uh, namecheap.com is where you're going to purchase the domain uh, there should be a link in the description below so all you want to do is click on that and that'll take you to namecheap put in your domain here so let's say your DJ pancake <laughs> DJ pancakes and eggs can't spell search and you're definitely gonna want to pick up the dot com version so if you're DJ pancakes and eggs uh, which is pretty funny uh, you're gonna go here and pick it up it's only nine uh, nine dollars and ninety eight cents a year um, that should cover you you definitely want to make sure the dot com is available and um, later on you know, as you start to progress, you're definitely going to want to uh, pick up the the .net, .org, and .biz as well. Uh, just from you don't want anybody coming and squatting on your site. You know, using your domain to um, you know pull traffic from your website later on down the road. So if you can get them all now, get them all now. If not, just make sure you pick up the .com. So once you do that, you're going to head over to HostGator and HostGator is the domain hosting basically this is um, this allows people to go to your site online um, they store your your uh, web address on a remote on a remote server so people can have access to your website that's all it is pretty simple cut dry there's three different options that you can get you can get the hatching plan the baby plan or the business plan if you're going to be using multiple domains um, I would suggest you go with the baby plan which is 636 a month and uh, if you're only just doing one site, uh, which is fine too, you can uh, do the hatching hatching plan for uh, $3.96. So um, you're gonna go in, you're gonna order all that, get email confirmations. It's gonna send you uh, your login, and then you're gonna go to uh, what's known as your C panel, um, and then your C panel is gonna look something like this. This is mine. I got a couple domains back here. But what, what you're going to be looking for when you get to the cPanel is the Fantastico, which is the reason why uh, I suggested that everyone go with um, HostGator because it's just a snap, as you'll be able to see here in uh, just a few minutes. So uh, with Fantastico, you're going to scroll down and look for it. Should be read about here. See Fantastico Deluxe? that's what you want so we're gonna click on that when <clears throat> once we click on Fantastico Deluxe we're gonna look for WordPress over here in the left hand navigation column click on WordPress and then we're going to go to new installation and then once you um, have your domain hosted um, hosted through the web hosting at HostGator this is actually something that you're going to have to go and do uh, once once you buy your domain from Namecheap. It's going to ask you, you know, who's your host, your host, your host, um, your host account number. You're just going to go in and plug that information in. I'm not going to walk you guys through that. And then uh, when you do that, you're going to go. Actually, um, I should probably go back because you guys are probably going to freak out. This isn't too hard, but you can uh, easily get overwhelmed so once you get that domain name and you get your server information plugged into uh, namecheap.com you're going to go to add domains and then you'll add your domain there so again it's it's pretty simple not too hard once you add the domain just head over back to Fantastico click on the WordPress tab in the left hand navigation and then you're gonna go to new installation 
once you do that you should see a drop down menu of your site here uh, we're gonna use this for example uh, install directory don't really worry about that um, administrative username put the username here that you're going to uh, want to log in with so maybe DJ pan cakes and eggs this is also going to be the um, the name that's uh, used and you can go back and change this later so it's not a big deal but this is going to be the name that's used in your blog post or whatever you're posting on the site it's going to say author DJ pancakes and eggs and then your password is going to go down here so you just type in uh, you know whatever your password is you can skip through this nickname part put your email address here and then uh, you're going to want to put your site here and uh, then you click the install button I'm not going to go I mean obviously this also, the site's already installed so I don't need to do that so you click the install WordPress and um, then it should eventually take you to a screen that looks something like this so when you get here you're going to plug all of the information in that you plugged in over here the access admin data and then your password and that should take you into the back of WordPress and what I would suggest you doing at this point uh, once you get back there is going on YouTube and looking up a few tutorials on you know how to use WordPress how to post how to add plugins and things of that nature if you purchase our um, if you go on and purchase our digital di digital blah, 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 digital domination DJ course um, that's going to be something that we covered. It's not available yet. It's going to be dropping this fall. So um, keep an eye out for that. Also, just hit me up if you have some simple questions. I can answer them. But if it's anything in too much detail, I'm not going to be able to go into too much detail. So that's uh, this is video two of you know uh, creating a professional DJ website on WordPress. Um, as you can see, 10 to 15 minutes. Not really hard not brain surgery if you do it the way I told you to if you do it any other way I can't suggest um, that it's gonna work out as easy so just go ahead and do that all the links should be in the description and again if you have any questions just hit me up on um, you know YouTube shoot me a message uh, Facebook leave me a comment or whatever so I'll see you guys peace